What is going on guys, Burning Spirit 5 back with some more Pokemon Black 2. So last time I found out that I'm not ready for the gym so I did some training and I also did a bit of extra training off screen so I'll show you guys my team at this current time. So we have Conan the Arcanine level 40 evolved at the end of the last episode. Pretty happy about that. Actually I gave it new moves, yeah. You can't see it but I gave it flame, oh I know it's flamethrower already but no one knows extreme speed and dragon pulse. I found some blue shards off screen and did the old teaching him and then I went to the uh, place, the world championship area and then taught him extreme speed with a heart scale so he's pretty good. Um, uh, star you, or star me is pretty much the same, level 40 but now it knows blizzard so yeah bought that. Uh, spirit I think is the same, leaf tornado, leech sea, coil and leaf blade, yeah pretty much the same, it is level 38, level 39 sorry. Shinji is level 38, now no Psychic, so that's sweet. And we have Eno level 37, and Zeus the God of Thunder level 36. So, yeah, still pretty underleveled, but I feel like I should be ready for this gym. Uh, now I know Dragon Pulse, well Arcanine knows Dragon Pulse. I should be fine. It's just versing the gym leader, like the actual gym leader, um, them being faster than me is really my, really my only uh, problem, but... Overall, I should be okay. So, yeah, let's take on this trainer. It's the guy who beat me last time. I'm gonna get my sweet revenge. Because this is not gonna happen this time. I'm gonna destroy you. Just destroy you with my dragon pulse. So, yeah, last episode, this Pokemon sweeped my whole team. Pretty embarrassing, but I was more under level than what I am right now. So, I mean, I have that as my excuse. But still, I mean, I shouldn't let I shouldn't let myself just lose to random people. But let's go for a Dragon Pulse. This will give me an indication of how I'm going to do against the gym leader. I have one hit kill, which is nice. I actually didn't think it would because I don't think Conan's special attack is too great. But I guess it's enough. So sweet. All right, let's just uh, let me go back here. And yeah, now we have unlocked the up button, so we can go up. So yeah, like this, like this layout, it's pretty sweet. And now we can choose our way. We're gonna go to the left. And holy crap! Connections right there. There's connections. Uh, defense is everything. Uh, it, it can be sometimes. I'll admit it can be. A good defense is a good offense. But also a good offense is a good defense. Even though that doesn't make too much sense. But. You know, you can be defensive while being offensive at the same time. So that Intimidate is definitely coming in handy, so if I need to, I can always use the Intimidate strategy on his, uh, on the gym leader's, um, what's it called? Axorus, I think? So, that is a strategy in mind. And being level 40, I'm only 5 levels low up, but the fact that I have a super, super effective attack, I mean 4 times effective, it uh, definitely helps, but you have a starting to stop that, which is harsh. And now you do a dual chop, which means you're gonna chop me twice. Now you're gonna use protect, I imagine. I'm gonna go for extreme speed, just to have a little look see on how much damage it actually does. So a fair bit, not too much, but more more than I would have uh, expected really. But I was hoping you were gonna use protect there, but I guess I'll just go straight for Dragon Balls. That's why I use extreme speed. But then again, that really doesn't make sense. Extreme speed doesn't uh, counter protect. Because I use extreme speed thinking he was going to use protect. But not thinking about that, it doesn't make too much sense. Um, but yeah, he was uh, Dratagon or something like that. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. I definitely liked his design when I first saw him. But then I found out he didn't evolve. And I sort of lost like my liking to him. Because he's cool as he is, but I feel like he could have had a beast of an evolve form. But uh so I was pretty disappointed when I found that out. But either way. Um alright, we'll go Holly Bell, the Stami, and go for a Blizzard. Alright. Now I could technically get Reflect, and Blizzard has a cool animation in this game. I've yet to see Blizzard. Well it's the first time seeing Blizzard in Black 2. I don't know if it's any different than the original black and white. It might be. I don't. I don't really know. Hmm, interesting. 
Uh, one thing I don't like about what they did in Black and White, in Black and White 2, is like Flamethrower. How it has like a weaker... Well, it has like a uh, shorter animation. Like I feel like Flamethrower and certain attacks should have a longer animation just because they're such a good attack. I mean, I understand that like, they changed it to make it shorter. Same with the Hailstorm and stuff, how it only, you only see it once and then it just doesn't happen again. Like, I, I, I kind of like how they did that, but sometimes I just miss it, you know? Like, you don't know what you have until it's gone. That's just what I feel. Um, we're gonna use a uh, PP up on Blizzard, actually. Even I'm probably gonna get Ice Beam soon, but I'm probably keep Blizzard on it. Regardless. Or will I? I don't know. Depend depending if I can find Psychic. But, anyway, let's take on this man. Offense is everything. Oh, yeah. Complete opposite of the other person. What are the odds? Both of them. Either side of each other. One defense, one offense. I'm gonna just battle it out and figure out which one really is the strongest. I mean, they have the same Pokemon, so I imagine in this case defense would win. Because if they have the same Pokemon, both having dragons, uh, defense would be st better defense. I mean, you could take more dragon type super effective hits than the offensive one can. Or something like that. I don't really know. But hopefully this kills it. Nah, no, see, I don't know why it's doing less damage here. You're gonna Dragon Dance up. I'm going to Dragon Pulse up. Man, you're overdoing this uh, Dragon Dance thing. And now you're dead. A fatal mistake on your part. Trying to gain too much power. You made the mistake of dying. Um, Alright, let's switch into... Holly Bell again and go for a Blizzard. And hopefully, I don't miss because I don't want to miss. Now I got a triple battle coming up and a rotation battle coming up. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like either of them. Alright, Blizzard. Kill it in one hit. No, I didn't kill it in one hit at all. Crunch, that's super effective. Oh no, I'm dead. Holly Bell! Holly Bell! Alright, let's go into, uh... Let's go into Eno. Why not? Let's see what Eno can do. It's maybe in a waste of time, but I'm curious on what Eno can do. Let's go for a return. Should be overpowered. I imagine Uno loves me. Eno loves me, very much. Dragon Claw. Oh no, it's strength in the Dragon Claw! What a twist! Man, this guy's pulling out... Weird strategies, ridiculous strategies these guys pulling out. Let's go Shinji. Shinji, the hero of the battle. Quick attack. Alright, just really spreading out that experience. Zeus the God of Thunder, level 38. Okay, so he warns us about that rotation triple battle thing. I don't, hopefully I don't have to do both of them. I mean, I got the choice to go up after that one battle, but I think if my memory serves me correctly, I do have to do both. Which isn't very good, but either way. Um, yeah, alright. I was going to heal up Holly Bell, but I'm figuring Dragon Pulse. Might be enough. Um, holy crap, we are really high right now. And the white and black dragons connect! I mean, that dragon is taking a punch to right to the nose. That's gonna be painful. And I'm hoping this person just rotates every time. Because that can just dragon dance all day. Not dragon dance, dragon pulse all day. All day! <laughs> I always find that weird. He throws the Pokeballs and they just do a perfect triangle. Not really a triangle, more of a type of V type shape, but either way. Ah, you switched into the weaker Pokemon, the Axu! If that didn't kill it, I would have been so disappointed. I would have been like, what? Didn't kill it? No, no. Oh, now it's. Now it's Dratagon. Dratagon? Oh, you switched out again. Switched out to switch out. These combos are terrible because I'm just using the same attack and they're all super effective. But I didn't kill it. I'm not using Dragon Dance. If you button pass, can you button pass straight to the Pokemon next to you? Is that a thing? I don't even know. 
Like, why would you do that? You dragon dance, then rotate it. It's like, what's the point of that? Dragon claw. Dragon claw. Dragon claw. Claw claw dragon. Oh, I should have predicted you to rotate. Not always rotating. Unless, unless, and if anyone knows, leave a comment below because I'm really curious. Since it dragon danced and it rotated, does the dragon dance still stay in effect? Is that a thing? If so, that is really cool. Very cool, actually. If it rotates, and since it's still technically in the battle, it stays in effect. It doesn't make sense, but I figure since it rotated, it might not. But if that's the case, that is really, really cool. And just adds such a cooler element to rotation battles. It's a pity my Wi-Fi sucks, because I could really do some uh, repetitive rotation battles. That'd be fun. Make a kick-ass team. Not of dragons, but I'll be more original with it. I'm not just using a team full of dragons, but here we go. Spirit, the beast, the leader of the pack. Leaf Blade. Ah, Leaf, oh, I didn't do anything. Ah, oh, rough skin. Revenge! Revenge! Um, I don't know what to do. Let's go for a... Um... Dip, 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 dip. Let's go for a rotate. Rotation? And we'll go for a psychic. Hopefully that's pretty good. Nice. Critical hit. Let me take down that red faced dragon. Go back to Venice. Which I don't know if that makes too much sense. But either way, go back to Venice. Haha, -ha, so I can go to the gym leader right now, I think. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, alright guys, I will be back. I'm going to ride this dragon down. Just down, and I'm going to go heal up. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Alright, so I am back, and it is time to go take on Drayden. And check that out. That dragon's holding a Pokeball. Never noticed that. That's pretty cool. Let's ride the dragon. I am riding the dragon. The dragon has chosen me, me, to be its rightful leader. I'm on its head. I'm like Goku at the end of Dragon Ball GT, riding a dragon. We're going to go into the heavens, into the sky, and I'm going to fuse with you, or something like that. And I think I'm God. I think that's holy crap. Bam! Oh, mouth to mouth, head to head. These dragons, the black dragon versus the white dragon, Zekrom and Reshiram, I, I, whatever. This is Drayden. Alright, we're, we're gonna check out the team. Alright, so... Conard is probably a good start. Or a good thing to start with. But... I'm probably going to start with Holly Bell. Just because. And... I know I have the Expert Bell on Conan, but... Um, I don't know. Unless I start with... Hmm... I don't know, we'll start with Holly Bell, see what happens. Alright, so, it's time to take on the 7th gym leader. He used to be 8th, now he's been dethroned, and he's pissed off. So we're gonna battle him. Welcome, thank you for coming, I am Opelucid, Opelucid, I think that's what, is that how it's pronounced? I don't know, I suck at names, but... I am the Opelucid Pokemon gym leader, Drayden, as the major, mayor, major, mayor, mayor. I suck at- I suck at freaking reading at the moment. So dumb. Um, <clears throat> let me start over. Um, didn't know who was the mayor. Anyway. As the mayor, I've given everything to develop in this city. As a trainer, I've certainly been pursuing great strength. But what I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future, perhaps. You can show me that future. The way Iris has. That's really the end of your conversation. Alright, whatever. I butchered everything about that talking, but with great mustache comes great responsibility. That is what he goes by. I mean, he's even scratching the mustache, gone. <laughs> look at me with my mustache. I am a mustachio legendary beast. But he starts off with a drag dragon. Yeah, dragon. Yeah. Uh, has the ability sheer force, knowing the moves Dragon Tail, Revenge Slash, and Crunch. If you're playing on challenge mode, you will know the moves 
exactly the same moves, but it will have a Citrus Berry. Uh, yeah, and it'll also go after, over his extra Pokemon. On Challenge Mode, once again, his extra Pokemon, which he doesn't have right now, but he does in Challenge Mode, is an Altaria. Dragon Flying, Ability Natural Cure, and those Dragon Pulse, Cotton Guard, Sing, and Fire Blast. Does not have a hold item. So, oh, of course you missed. Revenge! Revenge! Shouldn't do too much, actually. Yeah, cool. Alright. So, unlike black and white, uh, everything, like, there's nothing different. Like, even if you're playing white, you're still versing this guy, where in the previous games you played black, I think you... I don't know. One of the games had Iris, one of the games had... Um, thingy -majiggy. This dude right here, Mr. Mustache Guy. And Hully Bell's already down. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Um, Alright, we're gonna send in Shinji. Also, if you're playing black and white, um, he'll be the 8th gym leader, as I mentioned earlier. And he won't have a Flygon, which is the next Pokemon. He'll have a Fracture, I believe. So, yeah, interesting. With all the new Pokemon, they're definitely able to notch up his team a little bit, make it a little bit better, a little bit more sexier. I don't, I still don't, my, you know, I might be complaining with these games, these fifth gens, that the gym leaders are very, like, three Pokemon each, like, even me right now, like, I'm sort of under level, but I should be able to deal with him, um, just because I have at least one attack that's super effective, where, if he had, like, a team of five or six, this battle would be much tougher, it's just that, since I have a team of six, he has a team of three, it's a lot easier to counter, which definitely makes it less challenging, so that's my big complaint about Black and White, or 5th Gen, I should say, because they both have small amounts of um, Pokemon in their gym leaders. That's why Challenge Mode is definitely a good thing, because it gives you that extra challenge, hence the name. But still, only 4 Pokemon in Challenge Mode, I would have preferred if you had like 5. But, either way, that is my complaints. Alright, what do you guys think? Do you realize, do you reckon they should have had more Pokemon for the gym leaders? Do you reckon 3 is a good number? Do you think it's... I think that all the gym leaders are really easy and stuff. Like, what do you think overall about the gym leaders in black and white? That will be the question of the video. So, yeah. And critical hit. Nice. Good start right there. Good start. That Flygon and Dingo over its movesets had Dragon Tail, Crunch, Earth Power, Rock Slide. Um, in challenge mode, it will have Dragon Tail, Crunch, oh, same moveset, and it has Levitate. And also level 50. Yeah, all his Pokemon are level 50 except for his Ace in challenge mode. Which is weird because even his ace in this game is level 50. But we'll give Spirit in because it knows Coil. And here's his ace, his big old dragon that... I don't know if it can fly, but I imagine it can't because it has no wings. But it has a Citrus Berry, known as Mold Breaker. That's its ability, has the attacks of a Dragon Tail, Slash, Insurance, and Dragon Dance. Uh, if you're playing Challenge Mode, level 52, you know the moves Dragon Tail, Shadow Claw, X Scissor, and Dragon Dance. Much, much, much tougher than Challenge Mode with that variety of moves that it has at its disposal. But we're going to go for our Leech Scene right now, because, you know, even if you use Dragon Tail, which is actually going to switch out my Pokemon, um, I'll still be gaining some experience. Not experience, HP. So, overall, that's pretty good. Like right now, there we go. Getting a bit of that. Give that uh, HP back. And let's go for a Leaf Blade. Now, I don't think Spirit's going to be able to kill it, but all I want to do now is just weaken it so Arcanine can come in and be like, oh, wham! with the Dragon Pulse. So there's that Dragon Tail. It's going to switch me out. We're going into Zeus, the God of Thunder. You are screwed, Haxorus. You don't just bring in the God of Thunder. That is a mistake. That is a mistake on your half, even though you have no decision of... Pokemon gets switched out. But now I'm gonna go for that Thunder Wave. If I can survive this, which I probably can't. Oh, Zeus, the God of Thunder, he has survived. He has shown this Haxorus who is indeed the God of Thunder, who is Zeus. The God of Thunder. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty good. I won't be able to survive this, but I can go for a. I don't know, let's go for a strength. I think normal does okay against dragons. Insurance. Well, either way, I'm down. But because I want to, I'm gonna send in Shinji, the Espeon, and hopefully a Psychic can finish this off. Psychic. Ooh, 
going to be super effective. Indeed. Now you're going to use a f um, hyper potion. You have one hyper potion. So I'm going to send in... Unless the Leech Seed kills it. The Leech Seed may actually kill it right now. No, it does not. Um, which sucks, actually. But, I don't know, let's go for a coil. I'm going to use a half potion. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, why not just send an Arcanine and use Dragon Pulse? But I just want to see if I can beat him without going there. Without having to use Dragon Pulse. Because I'm curious. I can indeed do it. I don't think I can. I don't think I can at all. But who knows? Who knows indeed? Let's go for Leaf Blade. Hopefully I get some luck and you get paralyzed or something. No, and you're gonna go for that Dragon Tail. Which will indeed kill me. So let's see if fate can decide. Oh no. Okay. Well, I probably could have killed, beat him without using Dragon Pulse. Which is, I would have had to use potions, and I would prefer not to use potions. So we've got that Intimidate now. Nice. And now we'll go for a Dragon Pulse. And that should be all she wrote. No, it's not. Interesting. Ooh, Dragon Dance. Tough break. You sh Again, you like that other guy. You went for power over something else, over the win. Either way, the least he killed you. So, good game there, Drayden. I have defeated the Mustache King. The King of Mustaches. Mr. Mustachio. Dragon Man. The bitterness that floods me after a mustache defeat. Wonderful! Is what he's talking about, about his mustache. I'm grateful that we had a chance to battle. Reminded me of Pokemon battles working with others. We had a challenge together. Gym Badge. That's what I have received. Alright guys, we have seven gym badges out of eight. We are so close to getting our eighth gym badge and heading to the Pokemon League. Well now you've obtained the seventh gym badge and you know that means a Pokemon at level 80 will obey you and also you have the ability to grow a mustache. I, I heard him say that. But even if I tried to grow one, it just wouldn't be as good as yours and it wouldn't be wide. I, I don't know if you're old or you just, I don't know. I need to do an extra option, like an extra animation, to just get to the floor quicker, because it's sort of annoying. Oh man, run this dragon down. Well, well, Mr. Dragon, thank you for your service. I appreciate it, and I would like to say goodbye. Bye. Oh, I feel like I'm on Snake Way right now. I wonder if that joke's been made before. I imagine it has. I'm on Snake Way! Yeah! Yeah, I made it. I made it to heaven. Yeah. What do you have to say about this? You defeated the gym leader. Congratulations! Thank you, Mr. Man. Uh, my name? Zero and Hughes. He's already got his badge. What a jerk. Um, alright. So, uh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Now, I don't know if a cutscene's about to happen. I don't know. So, we're going to end it right here. We're going to end the video right here, guys. And, as I don't want to have the cutscene in this episode, because it makes things more annoying. So, next time, we'll see what Drayden is indeed talking about when he says, follow me. Is he going to show us who he's barber? He's going to get a mustache trimming? Who knows? Maybe uh, Tim Plasma are going to do something. I don't know. Anything can happen in Pokemon World. Um, yeah, alright, so, I'll tell you one thing that doesn't happen in the Pokemon world, aging. Ash has been 10 for like, 8 years, but uh, yeah, later.